Hey guys, it's Ezra from iDumpTutorials here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download ringtones right onto your iPhone for free. Now, just a few things before we start. Make sure that you have your song that you want to use as your ringtone downloaded onto your phone from iTunes into your music library, basically. Also, this is a long process, so I'm going to be going through it pretty quickly, so try to follow along. And... That's about it, so let's get started. Cool. Now, what you're first going to want to do is turn on your iPhone, obviously, and go right into your App Store. Now, go into the Search tab and search up R Maker or Ringtone Maker, doesn't matter, and find this app. Ringtone Maker, make free ringtones from you, da da da, but it doesn't matter. This is what it looks like right here. Now, you're going to want to download it and open it up. And once you've opened it up, you're going to be presented with this menu right here. Select a song to start. So I'm going to go ahead and select a song. Click on the music button and find your song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Beat It by Michael Jackson. I really like that song. I think I'm going to use it. And just add that right now, right there. Right there. All right. Now I'm going to be going through this panel really quickly. So you have Beat It, the song right up at the top, and then you have your start so that's where you want the song to start, and you can tap on this plus, or you can scrub. And I think I want to do it right at 105, because that's when the chorus starts. And you can also choose your length, so it's going to be 30 and below for you, unless you pay the in-app purchase to get the advanced buttons and also a 10 extra seconds of length. But you don't really have to do that, it's not needed. I did it because... because I did, because I like to waste money. So. Find exactly where you want to start your ringtone. Usually it's at the chorus, so for me it's at the chorus, and that starts at 105, and I think it's going to go for a good 30 seconds. I like that. You can make it shorter if the chorus is shorter, whatever really works for you. You can also add this fade in and fade out feature real quickly. And also if you want to change the song, you just press on the music button and select a new song. Once you've made everything good and how you want it to be, click on the save button. And there you go, you've saved it. But this is not the end of the process. Switch over to your computer and plug your phone into your computer and open up iTunes, like I have. So, here we have iTunes and you wanna to go to your phone and you're also gonna to wanna to go, here's you're gonna be presented with your phone and then you wanna go down to uh, apps and basically find the music app, here it is, our maker. And here we're gonna see a bunch of songs that you've saved. I have a few, but you probably will only have one because you just got the app. You're gonna wanna click on that one, and this one is Beat It, and I know this for a fact because if I wanna, if I go over to my phone and just click on Send, the title is 0002-Beat It, M4R. Now make sure it's .M4R because that means uh, ringtone, the R is for ringtone. So make sure that's the extension and click on, select the one that you want and scroll down and click on save to. You're going to want to save it to music, iTunes, iTunes media, and then tone. So select tones and just click save to. Now that's still not it. You're going to want to go over to your finder now and go into music and all that stuff and go down to tones, iTunes media, and tones, and then select on your new Beat It track and just drag that right into, oops, wait, sorry, go over to tones and drag this new ringtone right into this area right here. Now, once you have the new ringtone right into your my tones list command i or right click and press on get info and just change the name so if it already doesn't say the name like beat it make sure you write like rt for ringtone and then dash beat it and or whatever your song is sorry and maybe the maybe the uh, artist once you've got that down and good so that you can decipher it from all the other ones that you have or that you will have you want to sync your phone so, go back over here and just sync. Oh, and make sure that in tones, 
you have all tones or at least the one that you want selected um, and apply and sync so it looks like we have synchronized our phone with the computer and just to make sure we can go into tones and it should be in tones so just uh, go onto your phone again go into settings scroll down to sounds click on sounds go down to ringtone and scroll up to the very top here you have your own ringtones and here we go RT beat it yep that's it that's the one you can also select your vibration up here which I have chosen as alarm but whatever and that's the regular stuff so here you go ringtone beat it right there boom and that's it all right guys thank you so much for watching please feel free and subscribe give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in any way if you have a recommendation for a video feel free to write in the comments because I love comments if you want any of the wallpapers featured in this video, the links will be in the description, along with my last video and my channel. Also, check out my Instagram, where I feature awesome tech that will make your life better. And share this video with your friends and family, or anybody else that may be having this issue. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.